Hello everybody, it is almost 2018 and we've shown you how to sparkle on New Year's Eve, but now we're gonna help you out with those pesky New Year's resolutions. This is the time of year where many of us come up with something that we would like to change or better ourselves with in the new year, but it's not always easy to stick to your resolution. I have found sometimes by mid-January, I'm ready to move <laughs> on. So we're always. gonna talk a little bit today about resolutions and how we plan to stick to them and give you guys some tips and tricks to do the same. So I'm gonna start with our Seahawks fangirl, Christina. Share with us, what is your New Year's resolution? Well, <laughs> put me on the spot here. <laughs> I unfortunately have a very enormous sweet tooth. So sugar, I'm gonna try, well, no, I'm gonna be more assertive about my resolution. It, I am going to give up sugar, especially those daily Coca-Colas that... Who drinks Coke? Oh, <laughs> Apparently so Christina. Good. Nobody drinks Coke anymore. It, everyone does. No. Oh, no do. Does anybody so else at this table drink Coke? No. no. Only no. if it's the okay, Mexican well. Coke in a bottle. So are you giving up all sugar? Yeah, sugar's in everything. Yes, I am going to what give up all Coca sugar. Not like the, you know, the little bits of sugar that's in dressing. I mean okay. like candy, okay. cookies, ice cream, okay, okay, Skittles, okay. The bad sugar. Coca-Cola, obviously. Until 2019. I'm gonna try. Uh, I, yeah. Okay. How Good exactly luck, girl. are you Good gonna luck. do that? Well, let me just be clear. I have never stuck to a resolution ever in my life. I don't so think anyone has. There's not a lot of hope for me here, but I really am going to put my best foot forward. May I make a suggestion? Yes. I'm just making a suggestion. You may want to start out smaller and say you're giving up coke, and yes. then yes. and then oh, see how that goes and like dreams. go from there. Like it might be, it you're might getting be more married. Yeah, what are you gonna have, have nothing at a wedding? Yeah. <laughs> I'll have celery for the cake. No, <laughs> no, that'll be my exception. I'll okay. have cake at my wedding. You'll go into like sugar shock. I <laughs> you might. Have, to like eight months. <laughs> yeah, eight ah. months. I mean, you can give up everything. I'm just trying to set you up for success. I know, mm -hmm. but go big or Just go call home. me Tony Robbins. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's next? I am switching it up this year. I finally feel like I'm, you know, I'm getting older. <laughs> I'm becoming a woman or whatever. <laughs> Not that I wasn't before. Raiders but. fan woman. <laughs> Raiders <laughs> fan <laughs> woman. <laughs> anyway, my resolution is to save money, to finally put, like, to make a decision and to put money to the side, every paycheck I get, mm -hmm. so it's like $5. <laughs> <laughs> what do I say, 50 no, cents every month? I'm thinking I got $100 every month, put it in my savings account and not touch it, and just like keep it there. I've never like, like actually tried to save money in my life, and I spend money on dumb things. Like, I go to Sephora and I come out with like cuticle moisturizer. Like, I don't need that. I don't even have cuticles. You know? like, you so you I do need it. to, okay, I do. I have a bag. <laughs> I want to support right now. <laughs> No, but so make a make a decision to actually save and, and take it seriously because you know as you get older that's important you know right it is yeah it absolutely yeah. is so um yeah so I, I think I'm I'm growing up I actually did that's that two one. years ago and it's so easy because if you put away what you can't see you won't spend so, so like it just goes out every month it goes out even if I get paid which. I'm not getting paid for <laughs> <laughs> but even if I don't get paid, like I have a bad month, it still takes out the same out amount of your of money. check. Yeah, it does into savings. So then you work with your bank and you ask them to do it. Yeah, you just set it up and it's like so I never see it. So I just That's have this amazing. little nest egg, and I, if I don't see it, then I don't spend it. <laughs> There's an app too called Tip Yourself, and you can dress every. Whenever you can just tip yourself, like mm, today I was great. Oh I'm gosh, gonna give myself five dollars to save, and you can just do it that way. Ooh, could like oh, you great. tip me? Maybe. I was like, gonna say yeah. that. <laughs> tip me. me? <laughs> that would be nice. Vada, I feel like you've been great today. Here's a tip. <laughs> I relabeled my savings account. Don't touch. So oh. every time I look mm. at my bank account, I'm like, oh, don't I even think about it. Out That's of there. good. That's, That's really good. smart, though. Yes. These are such helpful just tips mentally, and tricks. Yeah. Mentally getting you in that mindset. Speaking <laughs> of mentality, my resolution has a lot to do with mentality, and it's a little bit basic B, so don't judge me. <laughs> but you know everyone has a little bit of basic That's B in true. them. Yes. Um, mine is just to get back in the gym. I know you see those people showing up, and you're, they're filling up your classes and everything, and you're just like, OK, girl. You're gonna be here until like next week, it's fine. But this time, I'm making it a point to go to my classes, go on hikes, do things active. Yeah. 
That's a good yeah. one. And do you I think if you don't, you're still fine though, because yeah. I see your <laughs> yeah. Instagram no. posts. Yeah. I'm like, mm, I need to get to the gym a little yeah. more often. Shelby, gym Shelby goals. is gym goals, no. gym even goals. if she's not in the gym. <laughs> she's gym goals. Something else is working. It's ridiculous. Do you have a workout buddy? I do. I have a few workout buddies. That always helps. Yes. Yeah. It makes it more fun and it holds you accountable for doing what you need to do. So, yes. I like it. Um, well, I will go next. Mine has to do with podcasts, which is kind of funny, but all of my friends seem to listen to all these podcasts and every day they're like mm -hmm. posting about oh, yeah. or telling me, I was so inspired by so-and-so. I was so inspired yeah, by so-and-so. Yeah. So my New Year's resolution is to do a new podcast every month and learn something, whether it be about meditation or mm. about something just going on incurred events or yeah. something about helping people, all that kind of stuff. Um, I am going to expand my podcast life because I feel I can grow and learn more as a person. That's true. Yeah. I get outside my podcast bubble. Uh, so I'm going to post about it every month too. Like I'm going to oh, do a see, little a like way. Instagram oh, yeah. story, a little tweet like this is this month's podcast and then we all have to be held accountable. Mm -hmm. And if you guys are following me and you see that I haven't posted about my podcast at the beginning of the month, please feel free to let me know. So do you have any podcast <laughs> We're in mind? In on you. I do not. I'm going to spend the break learning about podcasts. I would suggest Ooh. the ones that I listen to. Please. But Tracy doesn't like anything gory or bloody, and all I listen to is true crime podcasts. So I, I did like them. cereal. Oprah has one. That's cereal. Really Do past good. lives. Oh, past lives. Yeah, that might it's be like interesting. Kind of creepy, but also super. Just that's where it all makes her you friends think. are from. Well, <laughs> yeah. if you guys have. <laughs> well, Up and Vanished is really good. It's not gory, but it's about this woman that went missing, and this was 12 years ago, and. I won't spoil it, but they end up figuring it out because of the podcast. Oh, so it's very ooh. interesting to listen Up and to Vanish everything. will yeah. be my first podcast there of 2018, starting January 1st. <laughs> I will be listening to Up and Vanish. And then if you guys have podcasts, please send them my way mm -hmm. at 49ers Fangirl. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> we got one person left, and it's you, Taylor. Me. My New Year's resolution is to not be so hard on myself. Aww, <laughs> that is because I'm line. very hard on myself work-wise and personally, and I'm a people pleaser, and I don't Aww. ever like people to be mad at me, so I'm just gonna try to not stress out. That's, That's a, good a good one. Oh, I Maybe like I that. need to listen to some. I was just like, gonna say. Yeah, Maybe you need podcast. the meditation. Meditation podcast. podcast. Maybe sure. you need to do a yoga class with Shelby. Yeah. Well, so what are some things you think you're gonna do to take action on this? Yeah, I haven't really figured that part out. Yet. <laughs> Well, let's give her some suggestions. <laughs> okay, I'm all about the app, so I say download them. Headspace. Head, yes, That's Headspace. a good life. It's the oh, best. It's like a meditation it's, app. It's a meditation app, and they give you the first 10 sessions free, and you just like lay in your bed, and you listen to the, what they're saying, and you just, you relax, and you just are ready for the day. Clear and maybe that's how I'll and start. And the voice is an Australian accent, mm -hmm. so it's just Ooh. super zen. Oh, super hot. I'm falling asleep already. I like that. Okay. <laughs> I like that. This yeah. So fun. You guys, 2018 is going to be so awesome. So follow along with us in 2018 to know how we're doing. Um, I'm going to give everyone a, a challenge to post about your resolution once a month. Let people know how you're doing. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. <laughs> Happy New Year, Happy everybody. New Year. Bye. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at 49ersFangirl.